Okay, 10 things to observe to effectively read nonverbal cues. Reading nonverbal cues involves observing and interpreting the various nonverbal signals that people emit during communication. These cues provide valuable insights into a person's thoughts, emotions, and intentions, complementing and sometimes contradicting their verbal messages. Here is a detailed explanation of how to effectively read nonverbal cues. Facial expressions. The face is one of the most expressive parts of the body. Pay attention to micro expressions, subtle changes in the face that flash across quickly and reveal genuine emotions. Common facial expressions include smiles, frowns, raised eyebrows, wrinkled foreheads and narrowed and widened eyes. By observing these cues, you can gauge a person's emotional state and reaction to different situations. Body language. The body conveys a wealth of information through its posture, gestures, and movement. Notice how individuals hold themselves, whether they are open or closed off, relaxed, tense. Gestures such as hand movements, uh, arm crossed, leg crossed, uh, fidgeting can reveal someone's level of comfort or discomfort. Pay attention to the direction of the body as it can also indicate their focus or interest or lack of facing away, for example. Eye contact. Eye contact plays a crucial role in nonverbal communication. It can signal engagement, honesty, confidence, or even deception. Notice if someone maintains direct eye contact or avoids eye contact or frequently shifts their gaze. Be aware that eye contact norms get different across cultures, so it's essential to consider cultural context when interpreting these cues. Vocal cues. Nonverbal vocal cues, such as the tone of voice, the pitch, the volume, and the speech rate greatly impact communication. A soft voice may indicate friendliness or sensitivity, while a loud voice can convey dominance or anger. Changes in pitch and speech rate can reflect excitement, nervousness, or deception. Pay attention to these vocal cues as they provide additional context and emotional undertones. Proxemics. Proxemics refers to the use of personal space and distance during interaction. Notice how close or far someone stands or sits in relation to others. The level of comfort with the physical proximity can vary among individuals and cultures. Assessing whether someone prefers more personal spaces or appreciates close proximity can help you gauge their comfort level and engagement. Touch. Touch can convey various meanings from affection to power dynamics. Notice whether someone initiates or avoids physical contact during conversations. Different cultures have different norms regarding touch, so be mindful of cultural differences when interpreting touch as a nonverbal cue. Micro movements. Apart from large gestures, also pay attention to side or micro movements such as fidgeting, foot tapping, finger tapping, hair twirling. These movements can reveal nervousness, impatience, or discomfort. Context and congruence. Consider the overall context and congruence between verbal and nonverbal cues. If someone's words and body language are aligned, it increases the reliability of interpretation. However, inconsistencies may indicate either emotions, deception, or discomfort. Baselines and clusters. Establish a baseline by observing someone's typical nonverbal behavior. This baseline helps you recognize deviations or changes in their behavior that may signify shifts in their emotions or thoughts. Look for clusters of nonverbal cues rather than relying on individual signals. Multiple consistent cues can provide a more accurate understanding of a person's nonverbal communication. Cultural awareness. Cultural norms heavily influence nonverbal communication. Different cultures have distinct 
nonverbal cues, gestures, and expressions. Be mindful of cultural differences and avoid making assumptions based on your own culture on the ground. Educate yourself about the nonverbal communication norms of different countries and cultures to interpret nonverbal cues accurately in cross cultural interactions. Remember, reading nonverbal cues requires a combination of observation, context, empathy, and cultural sensitivity. It is important to be mindful of individual differences and consider the overall context when interpreting nonverbal signals. With practice and heightened awareness, you can become more adept at understanding and effectively responding to nonverbal communication.